Morning, folks. Well, we're back at the ranch again. Came down last night, had a good night's sleep, sat around the campfire a little while. Got up this morning, ate us an awesome breakfast. Throwing the ball for Axel and giving Daisy some lovings and listening to uh, listening to a bunch of kids playing across the river. Uh, so far, it is an absolutely gorgeous morning. Frost is starting to burn off. The sun's up. We're uh, we're getting really close on lumber to start building the floor. Um, I think we need. We've, we've got enough 4x8 to do everything, but we'd like to get one more 4x8 that's, I think, it's either 25 or 33 foot long to uh, have rim joists without having to make any splices. We've got, uh, we need 108 2x8s for floor joists, and we've got, I think Kenny counted, we're about 60 right now, so we're really close. I have three telephone poles I think left to cut. Uh, we'll see how many we can get out of that and uh, we'll have to start begging and borrowing for more. Begging and stealing for more. But um, we're getting there one step at a time. I think Kenny's going to work on an electrical outlet mounting the box and then I'll come wire it for uh, to wire in some plugs for his trailer. And then Tucky and I are going to get the sawmill up and going. and try to cut some lumber. But, uh, it's going to be an awesome day. Y'all come along. Morning, Axel. What are you doing, buddy? Huh? What you doing? Kenny, what you doing? What? All digging through the tool trailer, finding what I need. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and replace the tire on the backhoe, and then we're gonna replace a couple trailer tires. Yeah, we had uh, a mishap on the way down, so it's all right. Beautiful day. Welcome back to the ranch, guys. It is uh, a windy February, 
what, third, I think, down here at the ranch. Tucky's over there. We uh, bought a trailer load full of telephone poles, and sorry, I already unloaded them before we started thinking about including you guys, but uh, I apologize. We will endeavor to do better. We bought some microphones, and the last time we were down here, we lost about half of our footage. So I don't know that we're going to do that. I think you're just going to have to deal with the wind noise until we get something better. But anyway, we're about to start cutting some logs. Let's see what we got over here. Tucky, you got us all set up? I think so. Okay. Here's your go juice. We got us a, let's see, we got us a, another big pile of telephone poles over there, a flat on the trailer on the way down, I mean, he just limped in, but uh, we cut one telephone pole into three pieces here, that smaller end down there is so small that I don't think we can get an eight inch wide board out of it, not eight foot long anyway, so we're going to try to get some 16 footers here, actually 17 footers, and then a nine footer, but uh, I think we can get three boards out of this without a problem. Four just didn't quite fit. So here we go. Tucky, come down here. I want to show you what we kind of figured out on how we cut these logs, these boards. So it's taken quite a bit. We're almost done now on what we need, on how many boards we need, but I'm sure we'll cut a bunch more. But Kenny made us up these boards, and this is exactly the amount. So we have, let me gather my thoughts here. I'm skipping around. We have different height boards. So they're exactly seven and a half inches wide, which is what an eight inch board is gonna be. And then we've added up with the kerf of the blade. This is the exact amount of log we need to have three, to cut three boards. This one's four boards. We have a five board and a two board down there. Um, so what we do is when we come in to decide what telephone pole is going to be able to get what, we go to the small end and we hold that up there. And you can see it's not going to be able to get four boards. We put that on there and that one would just barely get three boards. So that's kind of how we pick how many boards we're going to try to get out of each pole. Um, this one over here It's not quite gonna do four boards on this bottom board that you see there's a little bit of hangover here. But as the pole gets bigger that direction, then it will be good. So we're going to have, this is 16 or a little over 16 foot long, I think 17 foot long. So we'll get four boards. We'll get three boards that are 17 foot long that we cut in half. So it'd be a total of six of our floor joists and then one that we'll have to cut the end off. Maybe we can use it as a floor joist, maybe not, but we're gonna try. So we, uh, we figured out where we needed to be 
on this end we got our log level so we basically we didn't measure to this point but we measured what the center of the log was on each end and then brought our small end up to be the right size to the right height I mean and then made our first cut now we're gonna flip it over and get our width get this thickness and then we'll do the two sides we'll have a nice flat side to put up against the log or the, the stoppers anyway that's what we're doing I just kind of wanted to explain what we had figured out works for us there might be a better way again we are semi-professional amateurs and have no idea what we're doing but uh, we're giving it a try so let's go ahead and flip it tucky and see what we can do What are you doing down there? Laying down on the job, man. Get your ass up. We got work to do. Come on. They're the ones doing all the work. I wish I had that much energy. Hell, folks, it's been a long day. I was just telling Kenny, I don't feel like we got a lot done, but we really did. We unloaded a whole trailer load full of telephone poles. A couple of those guys were like 53 foot poles and uh, one that is on the ground next to the sawmill right now that I thought it was gonna tip over my skid steer trying to pick it up. But uh, we got, I don't know, about 18, 16, 18 of our boards cut for the four joists. Um, Kenny got the tire put back on the backhoe. We got the two tires that went flat trailer pulled off and put in the back of the truck. Um, I put out some corn for the turkey and deer. We cooked a little turkey and cheese and back, uh, oh, what was the ultimate PBJ sandwich, which is, let me get this right. Tucky, help me out here. So it's the centerpiece of bread has peanut butter on both sides. Toast, peanut butter, jelly, toast, jelly, peanut butter, toast. Oh toast, peanut butter, jelly, toast, jelly, jelly peanut, peanut butter, butter toast. toast. So it's the ultimate PB&J. Uh, Toasted, it's, it's the Big Mac of peanut butter and jelly. It's a, it's a palindromial sandwich. It's the same <laughs> forwards and backwards. It has a $20 word. You're not allowed to use $20 words at this place. But anyway, it's been a great day. Absolutely beautiful. Wind's been a little a little gusty, probably in the 25 to 30 mile an hour gust, but uh, it's been a beautiful day. So I think we're done. I think we're gonna head home. We got church in the morning. The dogs are worn out. It's been a hard life. At least Daisy's worn out. Axel just needs a, he just needs five minute rest and then he'll be ready to go get. We appreciate y'all joining us. I know we're not super exciting, but I did give a lesson on how we're cutting logs, cut, cutting boards out of logs. And, uh, appreciate y'all coming along. Y'all have a blessed day. As Bill and Ted said, be excellent to each other. Good night.